Well, school districts across the state, they have to plan to replace their school bus fleets. All school buses must be zero emission by 2035. And senior reporter Eileen Buckley spoke with a school leader. This is in the Sweet Home District, which is planning ahead years in advance. It's a heavy lift, uh, but one that we're pretty excited about and one we're looking forward to. Between 2027 and 2035, school districts statewide must transition to electric buses. And the Sweet Home Central School District is already well on its way. As of right now, we've uh, contracted with an architectural firm, Wendell Architects, uh, here locally that have provided us kind of a transition plan uh, to not only get our transition, our buses to zero emission, uh, but to make sure that our infrastructure and the place behind us here that you see uh, is ready for electric buses. Sweet Home Schools Assistant Superintendent for Finance and Plant Services, Don Feldman, tells me so far they've purchased three electric buses buses to begin replacing a total of 67 school buses. Do you feel it's realistic for the state to do this? The plan itself is a, is a responsible one in terms of the environment. Um, kind of take a wait and see approach, I guess. Um, you know, in working with National Grid and things along those lines, there's concerns about the grid, uh, about, you know, the enough power on the grid. Uh, and then, honestly, we're looking at timelines where we might wait 18 months for a bus. Here at the Sweet Home Central School District's Transportation Center, it buses about 3,600 students each day to their schools. It's going to be in the neighborhood of about anywhere from about 9 to $11 million with charging uh, infrastructure and things along those lines. It's just mind-boggling, and I, I worry about how school districts are going to meet that cost. Uh, they can't just willy-nilly raise taxes. James Hanley with the Empire Center for Public Policy co-authored the report, Charging Forward, New York's costly rush to electrify school buses. Hanley says this unfunded mandate will cost districts between eight and a half to $15 billion. Instead of putting a deadline by when all school buses have to be electric, just say they all, you know, any replacements have to be electric and let that take as long as it takes. But back in the Sweet Home Bus Garage, Feldman says his district is hoping to garner grant funding through programs provided by National Grid or the EPA and NYSERDA. Eileen Buckley, 7 News, Amherst.